Hi brothers and sisters, thank you for joining me here on the Alabaster Box. My name is Rosalind. Today we're going to be reading from the KJV Bible. We're going to be reading Genesis chapter 24, verses 1 through 67. Keep in mind that I do not give my own personal interpretation. I just read the words as they are written. But if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the chat and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And just thank you for joining me. Okay, let's get started. Genesis chapter 24, verse 1. And Abraham was old and well stricken in age, and the Lord had blessed Abraham in all things. And Abraham said unto his elder servant of his house that ruled over all that he had, Put, I pray thee, thy hand under my thigh, and I will make thee swear by the Lord, the God of heaven and the God of earth, that thou shalt not take a wife unto my son of the daughters of the Canaanites, among them, uh, among whom I dwell. But thou shalt go into my country and to my kindred, and take a wife unto my son Isaac. And the servant said unto him, Peradventure, the woman will not follow, be willing to follow me unto this land. Must I needs bring thy son again unto the land from whence thou camest? And Abraham said unto him, Beware that thou bring not my son thither again. The Lord God of heaven, which took me from my father's house from the land of, the kin of my kindred, and which spake unto me, and that swear unto me, saying, Unto thy siege will I give this land. He shall send his angel before thee, and thou shalt take a wife unto my son from thence. And if the woman will not be willing to follow thee, then thou shalt be clear from this my oath. Only bring not my son thither again. And the servant put his hand under the thigh of Abraham his master, and swore to him concerning that matter. And the servant took ten camels of the camels of his master, and departed. For all the goods of his master were in his hands. And he arose and went to Mesopotamia, unto the city of Noar, Nahar. And he made his camel to kneel down without the, city, without the city by a well of water at the time of the evening, even the time that women go out to draw water. And he said, O Lord God of my master Abraham, I pray thee, send me a good speed this day and show kindness unto my master Abraham. Behold, I stand here by the well of water, and the daughters of the men of the city come out to draw water. And let it come to pass that the damsel to whom I shall say, Let down thy pitcher, I pray thee, that I may drink. And she say, Drink, and I will give, thee, give thy camels drink also. Let the same be she that thou hast appointed by thy servant Isaac. Therefore shall I know that thou hast showed kindness unto my master. And it came to pass, before he had done speaking, that, behold, Rebekah came out, who was born to Bethel, son of Malachah, the wife of Nahar, Abraham's brother, with her pitcher upon her shoulder. And the damsel was very fair to look upon, a virgin. Neither had any man known her, and she went down to the well, and filled her pitcher, and came up. And the servant ran to meet her, and said, Let me, I pray thee, drink a little of water of thy pitcher. And she said, Drink, my lord. And she hastened, and let down her pitcher upon her hand, and gave him drink. And then she was, and she, when she had done giving him drink, she said, I will draw water for thy camel also, until thy have done drinking. And she hastened and emptied the pitcher into the tr trough and ran again unto the well to draw water and drew for all his camels. And the man wondering at her held his peace to wit whether the Lord had made his journey prosperous or not. And it came to pass as the camel had done drinking that the man took a golden earring of, of half a shekel weight and two bracelets for her hands of ten shekels weight of gold and said, Whose daughter art thou? Tell me, I pray thee, is there room in thy father's house for us to lodge? And she said unto him, I am the daughter of Bethuel, the son of Malchi, which she bare unto Nahar. She said, Moreover unto him, we have both straw and prov provender enough in room to lodge in. And the man bowed down his head and worshipped the Lord. And he said, Blessed be the Lord God of my master Abraham, who hath not left destitute my master of his mercy and his truth. I being in the way the Lord led, led me to the house of my master's brethren. And the damsel ran and told them of her mother's, of her mother's house these things. And Rebekah had a brother, and his name was Laban. And Laban ran out unto the man, unto the well. And it came to pass, when he saw the earring and the bracelet upon his sister's hand, when he heard the words of Rebekah, his sister, saying, Thus spake the man unto me, that he came unto the man. And behold, he stood by the camels at, at the well. And he said, Come in, thou blessed of the Lord, wherefore standest thou without? For I have prepared the house and room for the camels. And the man came into the house, and he ungirded his camels, and gave straw and provender for the camels, and water to wash his feet, and the man's feet that were with him. And there was set meat before him to eat. But he said, I will not eat until I have told mine errand. And then he said, Speak on. And he said, I am Abraham's servant, and the Lord hath blessed me, blessed my master greatly, and he is to become great. And he hath given me flock and herds and silver and gold, and manservants and maidservants, and camels and asses. 
And Sarah, my master's wife, bare him a son to my master when she was old. And unto him hath he given all that he hath. And my master made me swear, saying, Thou shalt not take a wife to my son of the daughters of the Canaanites, in whom, whose land I dwell. But thou shalt go unto my father's house, and to my kindred, and take a wife unto my son. And I said unto my master, Peradventure, the woman will not follow me. And he said unto me, The Lord before whom I walk will send his angel with thee, and prosper, prosper thy way. And thou shalt take a wife for my son of my kindred, and of my father's house. Then shalt thou be clear from this oath, this my oath, when thou comest to my kindred, and if they give not thee one, thou shalt be clear from my oath. And I came this day unto the well, and said, O Lord God of my master Abraham, if now thou be do prosper my way, which I go, before, behold, I stand by the well of the water, and it shall come to pass, that when the virgin cometh forth to draw water, and I say to her, Give me, I pray thee, a little water of thy pitcher to drink. And she say to me, Both drink thou, and I will also draw from thy camels. Let the same be the woman whom the Lord hath appointed unto, pointed out, appointed out for my master's son. And before I had done speaking in mine heart, behold, Rebekah came forth with her pitcher on her shoulder, and she went down into the well and drew water. And I said unto her, Let me drink, I pray thee. And she made haste and let down her pitcher from her shoulder and said, Drink, and I will give thy camels drink also. And so I drank, and she made the camels drink also. And I asked her and said, Whose daughter art thou? And she said, The daughter of Bethel, Nahar's son, whom Milcah bare unto him. And I put the earring upon her face and the bracelets upon her hands. And I bowed down my head and worshipped the Lord and blessed the Lord God of my master Abraham, which had led me in the right way to take his master's brother's daughter unto his son. And now if you will do a deal kindly and truly with my master, tell me, and if not, tell me that I may turn to the right hand or to the left. Then Laban and Bethel answered and said, The thing the thing proceedeth from the Lord. We cannot speak unto thee bad or good. Behold, Rebekah is before thee. Take her and go, and let her be thy master's son's wife, as the Lord hath spoken. And it came to pass that when Abraham's servant heard these words, he worshipped the Lord, bowing himself to the earth. And the servant brought forth jewels of silver and jewels of gold and raiment, and gave them to Rebekah, and he gave also to her brother and to her mother precious things. And they did eat and drink, and he and the men that were with him, and tarried all night. And they rose up in the morning and said, Send me away unto my master. And her brother and her mother said, Let the damsel abide with us a few days, as at the least ten, after that she, may, she shall go. And he said unto them, Hinder me not, seeing the Lord hath prospered my way, and send me away that I may go to my master. And they said, we will call the damsel and inquire at her mouth. And they called Rebekah and said unto her, Wilt thou go with this man? And she said, I will go. And they sent away Rebekah, their sister, her nurse, and Abraham's servants and his men. And they blessed Rebekah and said unto her, Thou art our sister, be thou that the mother of thousands of millions, let, and let thy seed possess the gates of those which hate them. And Rebekah arose and her damsels, and they rode upon the camels and followed the men, and the servants took Rebekah and went his way. And Isaac came from the way of the, of the well of Laharoi, for he dwelt in the south country. And Isaac went out to meditate in the field of the ever even eventide. And he lifted up his eyes and saw, and behold, the camels were coming. And Rebekah lifted up her eyes, and when she saw Isaac, she lighted off the candles. Camel. For she had said unto the servant, What man is he? Is this that walketh in the field to meet us? And the servant had said, It is my master. Therefore. She took a veil and covered herself, and the servant told Isaac all things that he had done. And Isaac brought her into his mother Sarah's tent, and took Rebekah, and she became his wife, and he loved her. And Isaac was comforted after his mother's death. Whew, that was a long one. Thank you guys for joining me. Thank you for your patience as I stumbled over a few words. Not as many as I normally do, but a few words. I love you all. More importantly, our Father loves you. Um, that's it. Have a good evening. God bless you all.